Connecting the four NEMA 17 motors is pretty straightforward, but manufacturers might wire them differently and we might have to find the correct polarity. Start by connecting the three sets of cables from the bottom frame to the ramps 1.4, X, Y and Z pins located in the middle of the board. X and Y have only four pins, while Z has two sets of four pins. We'll connect the first line of pins to the parallel X and Y pins. The remaining four pins for Z is intended for Cartesian printers and will be left unused. Now connect the cable we prepared to the extruder motor and the other end to the ramps E0 pins. Notice there will be an E0 and E1 set of pins. This second E1 line of pins can be used for adding a second extruder. MOSFET and heat bed. Adding an external MOSFET will not only fasten the bed heating, but will also save the MOSFET on your ramps 1.4. A note on these MOSFETs. They have four connection screws two for the power supply and two for the heat bed and a DuPont connector for the ramps. To connect the heat bed, MOSFET, power supply and ramps together, start by connecting the DuPont to the MOSFET control slot. Strip the wire ends and connect each one to the D8 connectors in the ramps 1.4. These can be found on the blue or green plastic strip with the six screws alongside the 12 volt plug. Now get the spare cables on your power supply and connect the positive to the positive sign on the DC connector and the negative to the negative DC connector. Do the same for the heat bed wires. Polarity does not matter here, so connect either one to the heat bed plus and negative connectors. Fix the wired MOSFETs to the side of the electronic box with M3 bolts. Connect the remaining thermistor from the heat bed to the T1 pins on the ramps 1.4. These are located next to the LCD adapter. 